So Hashimoto's thyroiditis is an autoimmune condition where the body attacks the thyroid gland. It thinks that it doesn't belong to them. For the most common consequence is that it leads to an underactive thyroid and the patient ends up needing thyroid hormone replacement. And if that's your only symptom, then just putting you on thyroid hormone replacement probably is going to be adequate. But some patients who have this will develop an enlargement of their thyroid or some fibrosis and scarring in their thyroid that can lead to compressive symptoms. So they may feel like they are being choked or strangled. They may feel pressure in their neck. They may have difficulty swallowing or breathing or have some voice changes. If patients have symptoms related to the local growth of the thyroid or the fibrosis in the thyroid, then surgery can be beneficial to remove those symptoms or to relieve those symptoms. The other thing that happens with Hashimoto's thyroiditis is that they have these antibodies called TPO antibodies. And those antibodies are what are attacking the thyroid gland. And while we know they attack the thyroid gland, they probably also have some systemic effects. So there's been some studies that suggest that when you have TPO elevations, that people don't overall feel as good as they should. Even if their thyroid levels are perfect, they still don't feel as well as a normal patient. So there probably is some systemic effects of those TPO antibodies. And if we remove the thyroid, those TPO antibodies may resolve. And so patients may feel better just by removing those antibodies from their system.